Hey guys, have a go loggy here, back for another maths question of the day. And it's the final question, the end one we haven't done yet, from the 2020 specimen paper from the IGCSE paper two, that's the extended questions, before we move on to try something else. So this question is all about circle theorem, so as long as you know them, you'll be fine. But there's four marks available, one for giving the missing angle and then one for giving the reasons. So the question goes as follows. A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of the circle. The line XY is a tangent to the circle at A. And our job is to find the value of X and then find the value of Y, given reasons for both your answers. OK, press pause, have a got the question, and I'll be back with the work solutions in five, four, three, two, one. OK, guys, then back with the work solutions. And I've highlighted X, Y as that line there as being a tangent to the circle. So we know that would meet at 90 degrees. But the line A to C, we don't know, goes through the centre of a circle like that. So that doesn't really help us that much. What it does give us is this angle here of 55 degrees going from right there to there. So we know that's 55 degrees. Well, there is one really important rule that's going to help us here then. You could pick that 55 degrees up, swivel it around and whack it on X. So the first thing we can say is X is 55 degrees. And the reason quoted would just have to be the alternate segment theorem. Something like that. Um, you'll notice there's no answer boxes. That's because if I put the answer boxes as well, then we wouldn't have enough space to see the diagram. So I expect these to be written down below in your answer boxes. Now let's find angle Y. Well, we're not given this, but we do know it's opposite angle. And that wouldn't always help us. But what you can see is we've got four points. We've got A, B, C, and D. So we've got four points on the edge of a circle, which makes it a cyclic or cyclic quadrilateral. In other words, a four-sided shape made with the four points on the circumference of a circle. And one thing from the circle theorem you need to know is that opposite angles add up to 180. So if opposite angles add up to 180 in total, then we can say that y plus 65 has to make 180. So all we've got to do is 180 take away 65. That will be 115 degrees. So y is 115 degrees for your third mark. And the reason quoted, you could just say cyclic quadrilateral or opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Something like that. As long as you make it absolutely clear what you're talking about, there's your four marks. Happy days. And that was actually the final question that we hadn't looked at before from the 2020 specimen paper two. So we've actually cleared two papers now during our lockdown. We've done Cambridge IGCC 2020 specimen paper one and paper two. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you got something from it. Not just this question, but the whole batch. We'll move on to some different topics next time. If there's something in particular you want me to cover, then by all means, bring it up, let me know, and I'll work on those questions as opposed to some of the others. I think lockdown is gradually getting eased. So we'll start just doing 30 minute full out lessons again rather than just these exam questions. But I've been enjoying it and it's been a nice way to still do some maths even though I've been locked in the house. Hopefully you have too and you got something from it. I've been Happy Go Lucky and today you've been looking at circle theorem problems. Good for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.